A portion of this video is sponsored by Wondershare's Dr. Phone. In this video, I'm going to show you 4 quickest ways you can transfer files between your Windows PC to Android or iPhone. We will test and see how long my test video file that is 1GB in size will take on each app to transfer to my phone. But first, a word from the sponsor of today's video, Dr. Phone. Dr. Phone is a multi-platform all-in-one toolkit with an impressive number of features for your iPhone and Android. Its multifunctional toolkit consists of data recovery, phone manager, WhatsApp transfer, screen unlock for iPhones, system repair, data backup, and much more. It provides a complete solution for your phone. Phone Manager is my favorite module in Dr. Phone because it fits perfectly in today's video. Phone Manager makes managing files on your iPhone or Android a much simpler and quicker process. Let me show you how easy it is to set up. First, you need to enable USB debugging on your Android. To do so, go to your phone's about settings and tap build number 7 times. Then go to developer options and enable USB debugging. After that, connect your phone to PC via USB cable and tap allow access on your phone when prompted. And that's it. Dr. Phone does everything else for you and you can use all of Phone Manager's features. The features are all listed in an organized tab fashion at the top. Music is where you manage your phone's local audio files. On top of basic import and export, it has some fun and useful features on top. The deduplicate feature allows you to find and delete any duplicate files found on your phone. Very useful for decluttering your storage. The ringtone feature gives you precise tools to help you make your next best ringtone. Video is where you import and export videos. Unlike standard USB connection that has to load your video before playing, which can get very annoying with large files. Phone Manager plays your video instantly and it supports a wide number of video formats. Photos is just like video where you manage your photos. It's self-explanatory. Information is where you manage your text messages and contacts. You can import contacts from your PC or export in 4 different formats for different occasions. Apps is where you can install APKs to your phone from your PC. Or export installed apps on your phone for a local backup in case you are switching phones. And finally, the File Manager is where you manage all files stored on your phone. I was able to transfer my 1GB test file in just 46 seconds with Phone Manager, which I think is pretty quick. And all of this packed into a neat, nice and easy to use user interface that even your grandma could understand. You can get Dr. Phone for Windows, Mac, iPhone and Android using the special link in the description or in the pinned comment. Big thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. First up in the list is KDE Connect. It is an open source, meaning completely free, cross-platform app available for all major operating systems like Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and is currently in beta for iOS at the time of recording. Pairing your devices with KDE Connect is super easy. You just have to make sure all your devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, then you simply discover it on your phone and it will automatically detect your desktop. Once connected, you can send and receive files. Using my test video file, Again, which was 1GB in size, KDE was able to transfer the file over to my phone in 1 minute and 35 seconds. Keep in mind that this is on local Wi-Fi network. The only thing that I found limiting was the ability to transfer a folder or multiple files at a time. If you have multiple files to transfer, just zip them with an archiver like 7-zip and send it through KDE. I think all Android phones these days have a built-in zip archiver so you don't even have to install. KDE can also sync your clipboard send and receive SMS, synchronize your contacts, and it also has an input controller so you can control your mouse and keyboard, which is useful when you have to use your desktop with one hand because, you know, reasons. It has a bunch of other plugins inside you can turn on or off depending on your needs. It's very flexible and I highly recommend it. Number 3 is Switch. Switch is I think the most straightforward file transfer app in this list. To use it, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Then after installing the app on your phone, give it the necessary permissions. Then you just have to press the big play button and wait for it to create a connection. After which it will show you a local IP address and port you can connect to. On your desktop, you just have to open your browser and type in the address. And here in the interface, you can manage all your phone's files, apps and clipboard. Switch really surprised me with this file transfer speed with my 1GB test file transferring it to my phone in just 28 seconds which is very impressive. All major features of Switch are free to use with no ads. But if you want a secure connection over HTTPS, startup scheduling and restricted IP address control, you can pay a small price to unlock these features. Next up in the list is SyncThing, a completely free peer-to-peer -peer file sync app that works a bit different than your usual file sharing apps. The only caveat is it requires a little bit of setting up to do before you can get it working. Thankfully, it is very straightforward and I will explain how to set it up briefly. Skip to the timestamp that is on your screen if you want to skip the setup tutorial. Okay, so first you have to install SyncThing on all your devices that you want to sync to each other. It's available on all major operating systems, but the iOS version is limited to only syncing files under 20 megabytes. To increase this limit, you have to pay about $5 to unlock this feature. Once installed, open SyncThing on your desktop and click on Action. Then show ID. 
Then open SyncThing on your phone, open the Devices tab and tap the plus icon. Tap the QR code icon, scan it, give it a name and then save it. You should now get a pop-up on your desktop. Click on Add Device and give it a name there as well. You will notice that SyncThing has already created a default folder for us. Click on it to expand it and then click Edit. Go to the Sharing tab and check your phone that we just paired. Back on your phone, go to the Folders tab and tap the plus icon. Name this folder default and type the folder key shown on your desktop under the folder settings. Tap on Directory and select a folder where you want to store the transferred files to. I like to create a folder called SyncThing in my root phone directory so that it's easy to find. Switch on the desktop device we paired earlier. After that, tap save and you're done. After the setup, tap open folder. Any file or folder you put in this folder will be synced automatically to your phone via local Wi-Fi network. This goes the same for the folder we created on the phone as well. Anything you'd put there will appear here. It's instantaneous so as soon as it detects a file added, removed or modified, it will sync it to all paired and connected devices. SyncThing was able to transfer the 1GB test file in just 30 seconds. And you can add any other folder you want as well, like a notes folder for example and have them all synced to your phone simultaneously which is super cool. If you don't like the complexity of SyncThing but still want the same functionality, then Resilio Sync will be best suited for you. I've used Resilio Sync for years and I absolutely love how easy it is to set up. It has the exact same functionality as SyncThing. It is also free and cross-platform. To set it up, make sure you uncheck Install Resilio Sync as Windows Service during installation on Windows. Then all you have to do is click the big plus button, select Standard Folder, create or select an existing folder you want to sync, then click QR code. Then on your phone, all you have to do is tap the plus button, tap scan QR code, scan it and you're done. By default, any files that are synced will have to be manually selected on your phone to save it. Transfer speed. The transfer, the, transfer, the transfer speed for Resilio Sync was exactly the same as SyncThing, with the 1 GB test files transferring in just 30 seconds. Some of my friends actually use WhatsApp to transfer small files between their devices, and I find that to be quite cumbersome, so I'm really curious to know what file sharing methods you currently use. Please let me know in the comments so we can expand this list even further. Big thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring a portion of this video, and thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.